What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father, the Amazon Kindle Create Space, The Effeminate Mindset. So I saw this, the, 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 the gay black dude running around on TV wanting attention for being and made the face of the mistrial. He want to stand up for everybody else while he just making us as a community look bad, you dumb fuck. But I had to talk about this effeminate mindset. There's another story about a brother who, um, uh, one of the New York Giants who, who they broke into his house and put swastikas up and he was like trying to hide it from a six year old. Like, no, you need to show your six year old that. So this is how people get down. Like stop trying to hide this stuff. And, and what I mean by effeminate, when it's males, it's effeminate. When it's females, it's that same mindset that you can engulf yourself with bullshit, accept it, and justify it. Like people gotta, the, the, this mindset to me, man, you gotta back away from the television. See, a man is supposed to be, when you mention a man's name, you're supposed to also be able to mention what he's done. You're not supposed to say, you know, he dressed nice or he talk a lot and don't do nothing. He, he has to have some type of accomplishment, some type of deed behind his name. He, his name has to be a brand. You know, I remember Marlo and, uh, and uh, the Wire going off in, in that sale, my name is my name. And if y'all don't get that, y'all figure it out. Um, but with these effeminate cats, this this need for attention because usually this effeminate mindset is the need for attention without accomplishment because you need validation for your existence but you would get that validation if you actually did some shit worth validating and you know people are going to blame this effeminate mindset on single mothers let's just be honest with you because to get this effeminate mindset, you have to be feminized. And one thing about you women is, y'all are easily programmed and manipulated. You know, w women will watch TV and say, this is, this, is, this is how they view us. Why don't you just cut off the TV and think for yourself? Well, if, you, if you can't accept the idea that maybe you need, you need, you're getting programmed by society, maybe you need to step back from them and, and get your mind together, but you just gotta be glued in, just, oh, they hate me, they love me, they hate me, they love me, I hate me, I love me, I hate me, I love me, because I can't turn off this TV. Yes, you can, you programming yourself, because you don't have, because you have power over the remote. But there is no pushback on these dumb beliefs. And because of that, you got people out here looking stupid and delusional, like this dude running around here with that bullshit. And, you know, it was something else I saw. It was like, so on Facebook, and it was like a, a barbershop, and a gay woman, lesbian, was working in a barbershop in New York. She works in a barbershop in New York. And I'm a barber for the, the LGBT community. And, you know, this is a good, safe space for women. First of all, women spend so much time, not in barbershops, like, you, st you can't even be in beauty shops no more. You're like, you are, you're running from femininity that much. How can you be so, how can you be female, not be feminine, emasculate men, pass on this effeminate mindset, and then attempt to be so masculine and really expect for somebody to take you seriously? And then say, you know, this, these stupid men are here to fix all, can fix all of our problems. That's crazy. And I got it. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that as a base right now to, to, to say this about these effeminate men. This is why, I, like, I was telling my homeboy, you know, I feel like Memphis Bleak. This is why I don't nobody fuck with you, dang. Because you got these guys out here who want to quote unquote play the game. Grown men don't fucking play games. Masculine men don't run around playing games. You know what I'm saying? The people say, yes, yeah, chess, not checkers. But here's the thing about chess Every, when you play chess, you, you're right across from your opponent. They see you. You can't play chess and have somebody else play for you when you get up or distract the person that's next to you playing 
and have somebody make a move for them and then make another move for you and go, that's how we play the game. That's manipulation. That's not playing. You know, I mean, yeah, that's not a fair, that's not a fair playing field, what I mean. You can't manipulate the playing field and be considered masculine. I said all that to say that. Ain't that a bitch? Um, that's the problem. Because these feminized guys like, like, Manipulating and creating unnecessary situations and want to play the victim when they deal with men who like, man, ain't nobody playing these games. And on top of that, the racial component is these effeminate ass men sure do know how to fall in line for non-black men. This isn't a murder. Yes, it's not a murder. It's, I just, uh, I can't come to that occasion. But if the, well, if the shoe was reversed and even if this Walter Scott situation, if the shoe was reversed and Walter Scott was a black cop, shooting um, a white dude in the back five times running away and planting a taser on him and another white and a white cop help help falsify the report and a, and a black foreman would be in the head of 11 white people I can guarantee you I it's murder to the first degree he woke up that morning wanting to kill a white man and that, that same black effeminate ass foreman would be it's if you read the, the words Premeditation, you know, you don't have to be premeditated um, actually in the morning. You can think it out right there because of the way the mind processes stuff. It could be premeditated at that moment because you know that you're about to do it. You saw the way he just stopped, pulled out his gun as he went away calmly and said, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to shoot this guy. That's premeditated. He didn't want to chase him. He didn't want to, you know. He didn't want to chase me. He didn't want to cuff me. He didn't want to do anything that would, that, that, that would cause him to work any harder. He just killed him on the spot and said, hey, plant this, sprinkle some crack on him, and it's over. But it's because of this effeminate-ass mindset. And then, when these effeminate-ass dudes run around here and these girls get fucked over by these effeminate-ass dudes who, I don't know why they fucking with in the first place, and, and, then, they, and then these masculine dudes... They want to be like down low swagger jackers or some shit. And they come come at odds. Nobody ever wonders like, what are they clashing over? Is it is it competition or is it mentality? And it's mentality. Because these fucking guys are, at, are bitches to the core. And, and men don't like hanging around bitches. Just being honest. That's why this mindset never works. Because, like I said earlier, this mindset never accomplishes anything. I'm out.